Hey baddies, welcome to another Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot. Today I'm doing another pop-up pick a card reading. This one's going to be all about the results of your return to sender. So this should be a really interesting and fun and quite witchy reading. So welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Now today for this pop-up reading, I'm going to be using the Magical Botanical Oracle deck. I have to cover his little full frontal over here. <laughs> these are amazingly magical cards. I love these. I've really been getting into using these more and more and I get such intense like visionary hits from this deck. Highly recommend them. So um, anyway, so how this works is I'm going to shuffle up this deck and the cards that pop out or I'm drawn to draw will be the psychic linking object. All right, and um, I will pull as I go. And if I act weird or I slur my words during this reading, it's because I'm highly medicated uh, because I have uh, autoimmune disease and I use the green stuff to uh, help with my side effects, etc. <laughs> All right, so let's shuffle this beautiful deck up and uh, get some energy here. Tell me, tell me, spirits. Tell me, tell me spirits about these return to senders from my group one. Tell me the outcome, the effects of their group, their return to sender, this group's return to sender. What card here? Tell me what card from this magical deck. Tell me what card, what magical card. This card is peaking. It's peaking. Ooh, we have hen's bane. Let me see. Let me make sure. I know it's dark. It's dark on purpose. Hensbane. I like to read in the dark. If I could read in absolute darkness, I would. So group one, this is going to be your psychic linking object. Um, I will also include a, a picture. I was going to say video, but for the pops up, pop ups, I only do pictures. So I will include a picture that's a close up. Uh, that will probably be a little bit brighter for you guys to see which group. So you can see more closely the cards and uh, which group you're drawn to if you don't get it right away. All right. Tell me about group two. Woo! Group two, you popped right over. Okay. And this is Thistle. And I do believe you can see this. This is Thistle. Group two. You are Thistle, and you popped right out of the deck, okay? So that is a group two. Okay, group three. I'm going to shuffle you. I tend to shuffle my group threes quite a lot. One, two, and three. Okay. Tell me about my group three, the outcome of their return to sender. Okay, it's going to be out of this group. Tell me about my group three. Tell me about my group three. This card is being sassy, so I'm going to take it. Okay, this is Yarrow, right? Yarlow. Is it Yarrow? Let me see. Come on over oh. here. I was like, ah, is that Yarrow? Yeah. So that is my group three. Okay, so let's start with group one. This is your card, group one. Group one, I think. Everything is okay for you to see. What is the result of your return to sender? Group two, this is your card. What is the result of your return to sender? Oops. And uh, group three. What is the result of your return to sender? Okay. All right. So I will insert a photograph, like I said, for those of you guys who need more time to see which group you're drawn to. Now, if you're drawn to more than one group, there's probably going to be more than one message here for you. And with that said, I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys. 
Hey group one, all of you that selected henbane, this is going to be your reading all about the outcome and effects of your return to sender. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Now the book speaks about this herb being used in funeral rites and oracle sessions and uh, would put the priestesses or the Pythia um, of the Greeks uh, in trances um, and they would enter visionary states. They're connected to uh, the oracles of Apollo. Um, this herb can be used to or was used to connect with the dead, with the ancestors, um, to strengthen your psychic ability. Uh, and I got to tell you, I'm picking up on a, a few things here, but there's something about like a monitoring spirit or um, like a psychic spy or someone sending you dreams or in trying to enter your dream space or through astral or something like this like it feels very magical it feels like there's definitely some magical shit going on here okay so um, that's first what I feel so let's get a hold of like the root of the toxic witchy energy that I feel. And I, I feel like that's coming at you. Like you had someone monitoring your energy, uh, someone trying to get in your energy, someone watching you from afar, that kind of thing. So let's, let's pull a few cards here. I'm trying to see which ones I'm called to. First, we're going to look at the Dark Moon Lilith deck. Okay, tell me more about this monitoring, observing, invasive energy. It's almost like I'm seeing, um, now this is symbolic. This is a visionary thing I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing a psychic form. Um, and it's almost like they have an arrowhead um, on their head. Like literally they've been sharpened to a point uh, to try to get into your energy. Um, they were uh, very focused here. Uh, tell me more. Uh, I feel like for some of you, you may be having bad dreams or you may have started having bad dreams. They tried to affect you in that way. There may be a family tie or I'm hearing a blood tie here of some kind. Um, it, it feels like someone, uh, like this is vengeful or revengeful energy in some way. Um, if it's not blood, it's someone who felt very close, very close. Tell me more. Tell me more. The top, top and the bottom. We have, we have Mercury, communication and truth. Okay. And we have Queen Jezebel, magical, magnetic royal witch. Ooh. I'm going to get one more from this deck. Tell me more. There's something about communication. Talking. Talking shit. Talking shit. You're talking your shit. You're talking your shit. We have Mary Magdalene, divine loyal goddess. But you weren't. Ashira, mother of the gods. You weren't. And you're protected from shit like this. I, I don't think you were talking shit at all. Mm. I'm hearing projection, projection, loyal, very loyal. I think you were very loyal to this person. I think, why is the attacking energy here? Why is the, the like, jealous, I'm hearing jealousy, okay. We have someone is doing graveyard magic on you or they are wishing death upon you. Ooh, honey, honeycomb. Ooh, tell me more about this shit. Tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, this is starting to get like super, I'm like, it's going super dark here. It's going to like baneful working here. Okay. We have Hecate. And we have the Divine Feminine Magdalene. So we have Magdalene's energy coming out twice. Um, very protective energy. Um, I feel like you have spirits around you that are extremely loyal because you've built 
relationship. You've established a very, a very powerful uh, energy, and uh, I'm hearing domination, like you have the ability to dominate other spirits if necessary. Um, so this nasty energy that has a like I'm, I'm seeing like a poisoned arrow on it, can't really penetrate you, um, but can influence like dream energy for some of you. Um, although some of you may have felt the sting of the tip, I'm hearing like that's, that's you know, not for all of you. Um, tell me about this. Tell me about the sting. Tell me about the sting. We're going to move into the return here in a second. Um, tell me about the sting that you may have been feeling. And this is what triggered the return to sender. Tell me. Tell me about the sting here. You're very protected, okay? But attacks do happen. We have hot and cold. Makes others walk on eggshells in their relationships. Let me see. Can't see. Makes others walk on eggshells due to their inconsistent behavior and reactions. Okay. There's an up and down, hot and cold energy going on around you with people. Uh, a little bit of confusion for some of you guys. And when you feel confusion, you know something's going on. Something's, something's afoot. Okay, we have, let me see here. We have, they act one way in front of people and act in that two-faced people. You got two-faced people going on. Um, and we have a time to split. Gives others reasons to leave and never look back. Okay, so, you know, I feel like you, you've had some mental shit going on. Uh, I think you've had some people around you perhaps revealed hot and cold energy and some confusion for some of you guys who have been affected by this. And I think there was triggers that were like, you know what? It's time for a return to sender. Some of you guys knew who this was. Okay. You knew. You were like, oh, it's this bitch. It's this bitch. So we're going to rock this way. Are we, motherfucker? Okay. Now, for some of you, this person, they did. They were so jealous of what you go on, got going on in your life. Some of you guys are extremely talented. Uh, you had past lives as, you know, oracles or psychics. Some of you guys were in the temple of Apollo. Um, you have a history here. You know, some of you guys may be tarot readers on YouTube or another platform or um, an oracle or a medium of some kind, or you're a witch, you're a powerful witch. You have some kind of powerful energy here. Uh, some of you guys are very striking. You're beautiful, okay? And we have falsehood, okay? Um, so this bitch has been lying on you, all right? That, that's what we got. They're lying. They've been gossiping about you behind your back, okay? Um, and I think it's because they want to sully your name. We have unhappy voyages. Yeah. I, you know, this is very specific, but for like, I'm, I'm hearing like, um, closing your roads, closing your roads, closing your opportunities, um, close those fucking roads. They don't like to see you, um, succeed here. Okay. Um, this is this is what they wished upon you. Okay, they, this is what they wished. This is, this is what they wanted to happen. Um, uh, and what's coming forward is truth and justice. Here we have truth and justice um, overruling this with the return to sender. This is powerful. Okay, uh, some of you guys did a justice spell on top of this because this bitch has been talking about you, um, and I feel like they've told people that you've been lying on their name or there's something about like some kind of stories about you lying about them. Like it's real fucking twisted y'all. It's a real twisted tale here. Um, it's fucking psychopathic. Okay. Cause this is someone who's literally telling people that you said shit about them. That was untrue. But here's the kicker. You never said the shit about them. So they're lying about lying. You know what I'm saying? Like it's levels. It's, it's levels and multi-layers of like deception going on. Um, and they have some people buffaloed. And you see that in the inconsistency, inconsistency, inconsistency. You know what I'm saying? How people are around you. 
<laughs> they're, they're not always, um, they're not being the same. They're being hot and cold or they're revealing themselves to be um, in some way doubtful of you or questioning your connection. Um, so we have the justice coming. Okay. We have creation of all things and desire to know. It feels like with this um, return to sender, a massive psychic shielding went up, went up. Maybe you cast some kind of like fiery wall or some kind of like hard shell, like using a turtle or some kind of animal as a covering or something, but there's something that's it's very shielded now. There's a, there's a hard covering or a fiery wall. It's very difficult now to get to you. Okay. We have creation of all things and desire to know. And I feel like this person is energetically cut off from your energy. Okay. Um, and it, it feels like, I got to tell you guys, like this wishing death, like destruction on somebody, it's very serious. And you know that. And I know that. I don't think this person knows that. We have a Hecate. We have a Hecate. Perhaps you work with Hecate. Okay. Um, we have the energy of, let me see, what does this card say? Man, what does it say? Come here, come here. What does this card say? Well, there it goes. Okay, we have Underworld. No wonder the card was hard to read, right? <laughs> we have Underworld. Okay. Um, I feel like you pulled the powers of the Underworld here. Like you pulled... Um, some intense, heavy hitting energy. And the swing back, the return to sender was intense and it, it rippled. It rippled into this person's um, psychic energy. And it's like the ripple went, the wall went up. What is done is done, motherfucker. Um, there's no coming back from this. There, there is a, there's a cutoff of, of, knowledge like they will not have access to your energy i think that you have with the people around you who are acting weird if you have that going on i feel like you've pulled back your energy you've said okay something weird's going on so i'm going to do this i'm going to return it put the wall up what whatever it is return it i'm going to call my power back and then we're going to see we're going to see how people react. Um, and I, I feel like the kickback on this is so intense. Tell me about this intensity. I'm going to pull two of these. Okay, we have Coven. Dedication. We have Crystals. Amplification. Ooh. So the return to sender was amplified. I mean, that's, that, that, that's what it feels like. <laughs> it feels like it was amplified. Tell me more about this, um, this energy, this justice. They're cut off from really knowing or under. It's almost like if they hear things about you, that confusion energy that some of you may have received, they get that. Like, they're, they're really not able to, to kind of get it together to gossip about you. Or if they do, it doesn't make sense. Um, like, their lies start to fall apart. Uh, the truth is revealed. Um, they're not able to create lies anymore about you. Okay? Um, and it feels like... <laughs> it, it, it feels like people know. Like people around them will know. Okay, we have the the light of understanding. Yes, the truth is revealed, and people around them will know that a lot of what they say isn't true. We have success here, and we have motivation. Um, I feel like a lot of their motivations, just in general, have been hit. Uh, which means to me there's some depressive energy going on here. There is um, 
one of my I'm hearing that light light out brief candle something like from Shakespeare I'm hearing like that that little quote from Shakespeare I I can't say it right now but it, it's as if their candle is burning out there is a it's, it feels like a, a drawing on their vitality it, it feels like that's your power that they have siphoned um, returning to you okay so there's going to be a drop in their vitality this may lead they may start having like colds um, a sore throat kind of thing um, I feel like their throat chakra will be affected by this your return to sender I feel like their throat chakra is going to become a really big issue um, I feel like that the energy you have coming back to you is going to help you have a lot more clarity um, because this situation has revealed to you how people are easily swayed, how people around you are wearing masks as well. Um, and that once was perhaps what you thought was a group of people that you could trust, work, friends, family, whatever this is, uh, has been revealed to not be the group that you thought they were. Um, and this may draw you inward. This may draw you more inward to seeking a deeper connection uh, with Hecate or another underworld goddess or god form or spirit, okay? Um, this is going to lead to a really intense um, level of knowledge. Uh, some of you guys are going deeper into magic, okay? You're going deeper into the occult. Uh, and that's why a lot of these energies are being revealed to you uh, because I'm hearing from some of your guides. Some of you guys have some intense guides. Uh, for some of you guys, this is Hecate, okay? For some of you guys, this is Lilith, okay? And uh, there are some people in your life that needed to be revealed, okay? Because they were a distraction uh, for you. And uh, this act of return to sender was extremely powerful because this person um, has been doing this shit for a long time for many of you. And for many of you, this person is close. Uh, we have justice. The justice card came out. Um, we have justice here twice. Um, the top card is the knight of wands in reverse and you know i feel a very malignant energy here this person is extremely malignant um emotionally malignant um and i feel like it's almost like they convince some people that hating you or being a certain way towards you was their justice um we have the Ace of Wands. For some of you, like there's there's almost like a movement against you. Like they're trying to turn people against you or they've tried to. And that is going to turn on them. Okay. That energy will turn on them. Who they thought were friends, what was once casual friends who were talking smack about people and places they know nothing about and believing stories that were unbelievable will soon find that their friends were not friends, but fools. It was all fool's gold. We have the suite, the suit of pinnacles, the page of pinnacles, and the queen of wands. You know, I, I feel like this is the place where, like, you're moving away from the energy. And this is like your energy it's almost like you decided that life is too short to be manipulated by stupid people, you know, and you, you decided that, hey, you know, I'm going to be courageous and, uh, you know, move forward the best I can. Um, and it feel it feels very slow moving. I think this has been hard. Um, I think some of you guys, it took a while to figure this out. You know, um, and when you did, I think it was heartbreaking. Tell me more. This, yeah, it was heartbreaking with the Three of Swords. It was heartbreaking. Um, and I feel like because you know how powerful you are, you let this ride for a while. You were like, you know what? I'm just going to let this bitch ride. You know, and that's probably why you absorb some of this uh, because you kind of were like, you know, I'm just going to let it ride. You know, there, you know, I. 
it made you uncomfortable, right? It made you uncomfortable. The Six of Pentacles, okay? But this is actually super healing for you. Um, and this person is suffering, okay? Their narcissism, their selfish ego, their need for attention, their need and need and need and endless lists of need um, are going to be revealed. You know, I think if you would ultimately remove this person's masks, and this is what I'm seeing, like different masks coming off this person, you, their face would just be a vapid hole. It's like a black hole. Um, they don't really know who they are. All they know what all they know to do is to put on a different mask to use somebody in a different way. And so to return energy to someone like this is extremely powerful because you're kind of holding up a mirror and saying, see, see how it feels. And really with someone like that, that's really the only thing you can do. You know, some people say, oh, you should return the energy to God or spirit or whatnot. Well, I see what you're saying. Um, but ultimately, if you return it to God or spirit, they're going to feel that energy, okay? Uh, because that's part of how we learn a lot of times. You know, if we're sending hateful, negative energy to people, um, it needs to go back. It, it needs to return to whom it was sent from because they need to learn from that experience, just like we have to learn uh, from that experience. And you're talking about people who are existing on kind of a different level, you know. Um, it's not better, it's not worse, it's just a different way of living, okay. So it's it's just a different way, y'all. So for those of you who are like, we'll return it to God, to whatever, we, you're in a different class, okay, than what we are. We're in a different class than you, okay. And I don't mean class, I mean like we're all in school and you're taking magic well you know a b c d and we're taking magic like one two three you know what i'm saying like it's just a different kind of magical thought process not better not worse okay um what i'm feeling for you is a lot of this like heartbreak um a lot of this like reality about the people around you i think as it clears as you heal, this slow moving healing energy is going to help you develop a lot of clarity, um, a lot of knowledge about what you want in your life, um, and it's going to lead you to more success. Okay. It's a hard lesson. I think, Group One, you guys have a hard lesson from this. Um, I've had many hard lessons um, about the people, you know, I've loved in my life. Um, but they help you see yourself the way you really are so that you can heal from it and you can um, do what you need to do to become the person that you want to be, you know. Um, you are forever changed from situations like this and they will be also, you know, no matter how long it takes for the magic to work, you know, they'll be changed. So, um that's what I got for you, group one. I hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys. Hey, group two, all of you that selected Thistle. This is going to be your reading all about the outcome of your return to sender, um, the effects of your return to sender magic. Um, you chose Thistle, uh, and this card is um, it's connected to Scotland. Uh, it's used, or it was used, um, for bleeding, uh, internal and external. It's a protective herb. Um, and I got to tell you, as I connected with your group through this card, um, it feels like for some of you, like this is a ward that was hit. Um, and, you know, I'm seeing a couple of things. I'm seeing like literally it's a plant. 
Um, some of you guys have a plant or something by your plants, um, or there's a there's like you know a plant involved. It could be an herb, but it feels like for some of you guys, like it's like a cactus or it's something spiky. Um, um, for some of you guys, you have a very elaborate jar. That's the ward. Um, and this also talks about like dream time and astral, and you can use this herb to um, for astral projection as well. Um, and uh, I feel like some of you guys may not be aware that a ward has been hit and there is a return to sender going on. Um, now for some of you, it's a literal return to sender, but I'm feeling this very strongly. So it's important that you use your own discernment. Okay, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right, so I'm picking up on a couple things. The ward energy is very strong. So let me move that up a little bit. Oops, don't wanna flash it too much. Okay, so let's get into this energy. Tell me more about this return to sender. I'm starting off with this uh, Lilith Black Moon Oracle deck. Um, tell me more about this return to sender energy. Um, I'm hearing some of you guys need to charge this ward if this is you. Okay. Um, some of you guys have no idea it's been hit. You have no idea. Okay. And if you go look at it, some of you guys will see that it's been hit. Okay. Um, tell me more. Some of you guys, this is a straight up return to sender. Okay. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Some of you guys may align with Lilith as well. Or dark mother type energy. Okay, we have Saturn, age, reality, and discipline. Mmm, that's heavy Saturn energy there. We have Neptune, magic, imagination, and illusion. Woo. Woo. I'm, I'm feeling this one. We have Eve. Divine Feminine Awakening. You know, always be a Lilith, never an Eve, as they say. It feels like you have some, and I'm going to speak as it comes, okay? Because I feel Lilith kind of rising here with this Eve card. And it feels like you have a lesser witch or a lesser magician and I, I use that term lesser, you know, not, it, it is what it is, okay? Um, and they came for you, straight up. They came for you. Tell me more about this energy. Tell me more about this energy. And uh, they fucked with the wrong one, for sure. Uh, this Eve card, you know, the energy that hits me about this Eve card is, um, I'm feeling like a lot of, um, naive energy, um, as if they thought that they knew the ways, uh, as if they thought, <laughs> oh, they just were so childish. This is, this is child play is what I'm hearing. This is child's play. Connect with your ancestors or spirits. Yeah, I, I feel like they they tried to connect with whatever your dark mother energy is. Uh, they tried to connect with that, whatever that is for you. Um, and you know what? I don't think she was having it. We have the Aaron's. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Okay, probably not. Aaron's. Aaron's. Uh, vengeance, retribution, feared punishment, false promises. Boom, bitch, boom. Don't fuck, don't fuck with, uh, you know, people have to learn. Just because some of us may be very, you know, we may appear to be one way, doesn't mean that we do not know the, uh, the, Looks can be deceiving. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. Um, because the vengeance and the retribution here, the return to sender is intense. Saturn is putting them to fucking task. Okay? You won the war. Okay? You won the war. We have uh, goddess of fortuna, goddess fortuna, fortune, luck, bright future, lottery, and we have you won the war.
Yeah, I feel like they were trying to really get in your way of like luck, good fortune, you know, trying to steal your future, trying to steal from you, trying to take your energy. And the thing is, it feels like they're trying to tap into what is source for you uh, or your dark goddess energy, your dark goddess connection, and they could not connect like you. They might be able to go to you and connect through you to your source, but they don't know them like that, right? You don't know them like that. They don't, not you, them. They don't know them like that, bitch. What do you think's gonna happen? I'm hearing like, like, how dare, how dare they? How dare they? So things are not going well. Saturn is eating them alive like he does so well. You know, he ate his own children. So um, we have shoots their shot, tries their luck on whoever catches their eye, but only gets after who is interested in them. Um, um, yeah, I, I feel like every time they try for something, it fails. It falls short. It's just not good enough. I'm just not good enough. Like there's these feelings or overcome with feelings. I'm just not good enough. I just can't do this. I just can't. It's like, and here's this silly bitch doesn't realize that's the energy coming back to them. <laughs> It's your fucking energy. You sent it out, bitch. It's coming back to you. Destination nowhere. <laughs> That's where they wanted you to go, trying to steal your future. Now they're trying to steal yours. You stupid bitch. <laughs> you dumb bitch. And now the power of Saturn is just eating lunch and dinner and snacks in between. Uh, Saturn is growing luscious on the vegetation around this person's life. Like it's just Saturn is picking and choosing. So some of you guys have a Saturn type spirit. Okay. Um, it's probably a spirit that is connected to Saturn in some kind of way. They're putting them to task. Um, they are not happy campers. Oh, well, um, my, Let's see. Big brother is watching you. <laughs> They're a little paranoid. Trick ass bitch. <laughs> Old timer acting like they still have it going on. Some of them got a boss that's got the hots. They have some older person who's got the hots in a, in a place of authority. And they just can't shake them. They can't shake them right? They can't shake them. They may have a little bit of like obsessive energy because you know what? They were obsessed with you, honey. So now, boom, boom, bitch, boom. Welcome, welcome to a, a ascended, a, what do we want to call this? This is the big boys return to sender. I don't want to say big boys, big girls, big people, big witches, big witch energy, bitch. That's what this is. <laughs> They're feeling old. Now, some of them are young. They're feeling old. They're feeling paranoid. They're getting hit on by people they don't like. <laughs> they feel like they're going nowhere and they're working hard. They're working hard and they're hardly working. And they're on the radar. They're on the radar of their boss. I hope they don't slam no doors. <laughs> I hope that bitch ain't late to work. <laughs> they told me to flip the deck. I hope that bitch ain't late for work. I hope they're not. <laughs> Some of them got a baby coming. They got a baby on the way. I don't want no baby. Well, surprise, bitch. Disability and immora immorality. Immorality. <laughs> Things are not looking good. You're powerful as fuck. I don't know what they thought they were. It's like a paint by numbers witchcraft versus like high level grown up 
Don't fuck with me. I will complicate your life. I'm just giving it back to you, but I'm giving it back with my big girl panties on. You know, it's a whole other game. That's right. Eat up. Famine and sickness. <laughs> Eat it, bitch. Eat it. Don't, co don't come for me. Don't ever come for me. I think you're a very giving person. I think you do a lot for people. And I think you give a lot of warning shots. I don't think this ward just went off. I think your ward has layers, okay? And boom, baby, boom, bitch, boom. And you got, you're getting hurt. Unrestrained living. I feel chaos. I feel like this person's like losing it. I work so hard, I get nothing. And Saturn's like, I, this is an example of what I'm feeling. Say you clean a room. Say you spend like, you spend like two days deep cleaning your kitchen. And Papa Saturn walks in the kitchen and they're like, there's a crumb on the floor. Okay, you're going to need to reclean that refrigerator because I know you didn't use the right shit. Okay, I want it spotless, bitch. Lick it clean, honey, and then we'll see. It's that kind of energy. Like taking them to fucking task. Because <laughs> you know that's what they wanted for you. But here's the thing. It was ineffective. Like what they did was ineffective. So you just leveled this shit up. You knew the intention. It's like the ward was like, I see it. Your magic, you saw it. You're like, I see what you're trying to do, bitch. Protection of criminals. Are they doing some very bad things? Very bad, bad things. Are they doing some very, very bad things? If they're doing some very, very bad things, some very, very bad things might happen to them. Just saying. I'm just saying. If they're doing some very, very bad things, some very, very bad things may be happening to them. Truth revealed. Hope they're not stealing nothing. Hope they're not running nothing. Hope, hope they got their shit together. Because I feel like when they hit the ward, for a lot of them, there's a spirit that's released when you hit that ward. Right? And it's, it's got this Saturn element. This underworld, you are fucked. You are fucked element. And we have the devil. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. You have been professionally, your life has been professionally fucked by a high level witch or witchcraft. Okay? You may not think of yourself that way, but honey, you have totally fucked this person up. The Nine of Cups, happiness. I'm hearing, I remember happiness. I remembered when I was happy. And you know what I hear? Like, there's like a reality check moment when they're going to be like, it was before I did that thing. Remember when I did that thing? It was before that. Remember? You may have used Belial. You may have connected with Belial. You may have connected with uh, Stolas. I'm also getting, um, I'm getting Lucifer. Vapula, Marbus, Stolas. Tell me more. It's like I see a vision of like a, a person, we'll say like this, and they're wearing a tiara that says princess. And they're like, remember when I did that, that work, that spell? I wonder if that's what this is. And they're just mascara running down their face as they're crying. I wonder if this is what happened. I wonder, I wonder if this is connected. Really, bitch? Really, bitch, you're wondering? You're wondering if this might be connected? Really, bitch, you're wondering? Devil, really? Saturn's like, really? You're wondering, you don't know yet? You're not sure? Here's some more bullshit for you. You're wondering, we want you to be clear about it. We want you to be clear. The Queen of Swords. And we have Disappointment. The Queen of Swords and Disappointment. 
get ready, bitch. Get ready for some more disappointment in your life. Get ready for some more misery and bullshit until you know clearly that your actions have fucking consequences. Don't stick your toes into the water of the fountain of someone else's magical being. Because you never know what you're going to get. Some of you guys have like a plant that in astral is, is alive. It's like a tentacle, like a tentacle plant. And its tentacles are wrapped around or you have like a, a, a beast or a form. Uh, it could be a humanoid form. But some of you guys have created, it has tentacles around this person. And it won't let go until they realize the fuckery of their ways. You will be fucked. Your life will be fucked until you realize, don't come for me. Don't come for me. You don't want to do this. Disappointments. Disappointments. Judgment. It's severe. Your happiness. Remember when I have, remember when I was happy? Remember when my life was together? It just fell apart. It just fell apart. It fell completely apart. What's this card? The Princess of Pentacles. It fell completely apart. Look. She just can't even walk. She just... The princess is just so damaged by what has happened. The reality that she... The reality is you haven't done the work to throw shit like this. You haven't connected the way, you know... You haven't. You haven't done those things. But you have. I'm talking about them and you. And you're invested. And you're so good at it. You, some of you guys don't even know this happened. And some of you guys, you felt it and you threw. And this person, their life is just completely fucked. And you're out because, because you're a nice person. You are. And you know they're suffering. All they have to do is connect the dots. That your bad behavior, your stupid, infantile, childish throw at me, triggered a response from me. And your life is fucked because of that. So don't do it again. Now, if they get the balls, you know what I'm saying? If they get the gumption, they get the ovaries, if they, they get the... The nerve to throw at you again. Well, it's really going to be ugly. Um, I feel like this person is really frustrated with where their life has gone. And I feel like they don't really know right now. They haven't made the connection. So the suffering grows. The confusion grows. The frustration about like, I can't seem to make anything work. I don't know why. I can't. All the people that hit on me are like uninteresting or they're like 20 years older than me or uh, they're like, they have this kind of uh, certain kind of attitude. Uh, some of them are really struggling at work. They're really struggling and they're being watched. And I hope they're not doing nothing illegal, y'all, because uh, all eyes are on them. They have people's attention. All right. Okay, group two, that's what I received for you. I hope this was a helpful and insightful reading. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys. Hey, group three, all of you that selected Yarrow. This is going to be your reading all about the result of your return to sender, the outcome, what's happening with it. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay, this herb has to do with, like, love. 
It also is another herb that can be used for bleeding issues. It has to do with the psychic realm, the astral realm, um, and it's a protective herb as well. Um, it can be used um, to heal and protect uh, for um, emotional issues, psychic issues, issues with um, you know people saying hurtful words, um, and I'm feeling like brokenheartedness here. Um, this return to sender feels like this is someone who really hurt you. Like th this is this is deep emotional pain. So let's find out about it. Tell me more. I'm gonna pull from the Black Moon Lilith Oracle deck. Tell me more about my group three. What is the outcome? What is what do you want to tell us about this return to sender? Okay, I feel this one. We have Black Moon Lilith and Taurus. You are worthy. Yeah, I feel like this person had a very sharp tongue. Um, I feel like they probably said a lot of very hurtful things. It feels like uh, there's betrayal here. For some of you, this could be a ex. Um, it could be somebody in your life right now. Okay, so um, I had a weird sneeze cough thing. Um, and I, I feel like there was probably a lot of screaming here, um, a lot of just toxic levels of communication. Um, I think this person really made you feel unworthy of love, like nobody else would want you. Release perfectionism, Black Moon, Lilith, and Virgo. Um, this person may have held a standard of perfection about you, or perhaps you had your own standard of perfection, like body issues. Perhaps they brought up body issues. Um, this could be, doesn't have to be romantic. I'm feeling like this could be family as well. This could be a toxic family member, um, even friend. So I'm feeling several different things. If it's a friend, it's like a best friend for 20 years. Like it, it's, it's like family, okay? It's not just a casual friend. Um, some of you guys have a very toxic relationship like with your mother um, who held a standard of perfection, okay? Um, and you did a return to sender on her energy that she's sending you. Um, this is a return to sender on someone who made you feel, feel worthless. Uh, and I'm hearing like really beat you when you were down kind of energy. We have Black Moon, Lilith, and Cancer, honor your emotions. Yeah, I feel like doing this really helped you reach a place where you have felt more worthy. Free yourself. Um, and returning to sender has helped you, is starting to help you feel more free. Perhaps you have literally freed yourself from this person. And the next step of the evolution of you um, honoring your emotions and feeling more worthy was this return to sender, um, returning their energy back to them. And, you know, that can be a very emotional step. I think people often think, you know, return to sender, just a casual. No, uh, sometimes it can be very emotional when we return to sender to people who have, you know, been in our lives all our life, you know, or for 10 years. And, you know, we're returning their energy back to them. It, it can, it has a big effect. It's not a cord cutting, cutting, cutting. <laughs> sorry. It is a return to sender. And it can be very powerful, especially if you've been handling their energy for a long time. You know, you've been letting the energy of unworthiness that's coming from them, you know, if you've been carrying that for years. Uh, Fifty Shades of Disappointment, repeatedly, repeating, repeatedly, Disappointing others by not following through, uh, ghosting, lying, you name it. I, I feel like there's this energy that you have lived with of constantly feeling like you're disappointing somebody, constantly feeling like you're not giving enough, you're not doing enough, no matter what you do, it's not good enough, it's not right enough, it's not, you know, it's just, it's never, it was never enough. You couldn't give enough. You couldn't be perfect enough. And some of you guys just had to choose you. You know, you had to give up trying to be perfect. Like, I will never be perfect. You had, you had to accept your humanness, that you are a human being. And as a human being, you are flawed. 
It's the way it is. Human beings are flawed. And you have to walk into that. You have to walk into a moment of making peace with your vessel, peace with yourself, peace with your flaws. And the moment you make peace with your vessel, especially for feminine energy, it switches the game. It doesn't mean that you never have issues, okay? It just means that you're no longer fighting the war. It means you accept that there will be times you have issues. It doesn't mean the end of the world. It means that you're struggling just like every other human being on the planet with certain things. And these things that you're struggling with weren't given to you. They landed in your lap by someone who is extremely toxic and dysfunctional. Okay? We have Dud. Promises fireworks but leaves others disappointed constantly. Yeah, I, I feel like you, this will drive you to depression always feeling like you're not enough. You're not good enough. Uh, and I feel like you, that's why this was so powerful when you returned this energy to sender. Tell me more about this return to, return to sender. Tell me more about the return to sender. Wow. It's just spitting out cards. The blood of your enemies. We have defend yourself. It's time to strike. And we have protective, powerful, strong, fertility, death, burial, military. It was very powerful when you did this. Extremely powerful. And I do feel like for a lot of you, there's a blood connection, be it, you know, an ex or family here. Um, it was really powerful because I feel like this person has been hit with depressive energy. And I think it felt like, almost like an attack. Like they've had like a wave of melancholy. And they're like, where is this coming from? Tell me more about this, return to sender. Why am I feeling this? Why am I feeling this way? And I feel like they may start thinking about you. We have delay. It's, I feel like they are distracted. All of a sudden, the clarity they thought they had, they had no longer have it. We have greed. I'm feeling that. They are hung up on the little things about money. They're becoming a miser. Um, and it's delaying things. I'm hearing projects. For some of you, there's like inheritance delays. They're, they're becoming stingy. We have prejudice. And their prejudice are showing. This could be in family. This could be at their work. There's something being revealed that seems to be extremely nasty. Their nasty, horrible energy that they gave to you is being revealed. We have fraud and misrepresentation. Ooh, damn. You were always a bitch. Theft and destruction. They are hung up on something about money or resources. And there's someone saying to them, you were always a bitch. You were always a bitch. For some of them, there's money missing. Someone has stolen money or land. Um, there's been some kind of confusion at work about where this went. Um, for some of them, it's an oversight. They may be in accounting or something, or they may have to account for something. Um, and I'm feeling there's, this is Phoenix energy here, but I feel it's the, it's, it's the, it's like the Phoenix, I'm seeing a Phoenix and all of a sudden the light goes out and they descend. It's like a dissension into their own personal hell. Um, it's very intense. They're having to defend themselves. It's 
some of them miss something they messed up and it's being revealed you know how they nitpicked you they micromanaged you in some kind of way especially if this is about like your vessel or the way you kept house um, or your manners or, or, or the way you presented yourself for some of them they missed details and it's a big deal Ooh, it's a oops sorry I didn't mean to knock you over it's a big deal I'm hearing it's a big deal may not be able to fix this one may not be able to fix this one tell me more about this tell me more I'm feeling a drain on their energy. I'm hearing like worry. I'm worried. I'm super worried. I'm worried. I'm concerned. I can't find this. Someone stole it. Someone stole it. I'm paranoid. I don't want to talk to you anymore because I can't trust you. This inability to trust anyone or anything. It's like people start seeing them for who they are, the fraud they are. They're greedy ass. I'm hearing they're greedy ass. We have this, the nine of wands. Survival is a matter of preservation and vice versa. They're trying to survive. Uh, we have the three of pentacles. They're trying to survive in their work. They're having a hard time in their work. Or this is family. And it's like, I'm hearing like every man for himself. It's like shit's being revealed and they are overwhelmed by it. Did they really say that? I'm hearing someone say that to them. Did they really say that? Did you get it signed? I'm hearing, did you get it signed? Yes, I did. No, they didn't. For some of them, they presented a fake document. I'm hearing the six of pentacles. Some of them have been, like, there's a hand, I'm here, I'm seeing, like, a hand in the pocket. And I'm seeing, like, they, they've been, there's something they're taking that's not theirs. Whether it's time, they're fudging records because they're too lazy to do their job. They think they'll never be caught. I see someone laughing, like, with a big mouth. A big mouth is laughing. I'll never be caught. No one ever checks the Seven of Cups. There, there's this energy around them of like, it's overlooked all the time. Judgment. We have the Ace of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups. And the Knight of Pentacles. It, I, you know, I feel like there's this energy of being discovered, of something being revealed around this person, and them having to start kind of anew. Like, I can't believe. I can't believe they figured it out. I can't believe they saw this. So it's either like a family situation or a work situation where this return to sender manifests. And it may be both, okay? Um, and it's like the details, the details, they were always micromanaging you and making you feel like shit. And it's like their words and their actions are coming to haunt them. And there's something like, the devil's in the details with this person. The devil's in the details. There's overwhelm here. I feel this energy of like, I can't make choices. I can't make decisions. I don't know what to do. I feel helpless. There's delays around money, like not being able to get paid. We're holding your check. 
I'm hearing we're holding your check. We're holding your money. Uh, some of them, you know, are trying to buy a house or not get an apartment, and there's a delay. They're not able to get the house. They're not able to get the apartment. Um, there's a lot of delays around any kind of progress. I'm hearing like slow going. They're slow going, um, and it's it's just slow enough to drive you crazy because it's like there's a little bit of hope and then a delay, a little bit of hope and then a delay. Um, It feels like it is a mirror of what they have done to you. At times, the reason why I feel like you stayed in this relationship, whatever kind of relationship it is, is because there were times this person would speak very in a charming way. Um, They made you feel a certain way. They gave you hope that this was good, a good relationship. They didn't treat you like shit all the time, right? Um, which made you question. It made you confused. It made you like, what's going on? You know, gaslighting you, right? So it's like the world around this person begins to gaslight them. And it leads them to confusion. A once very uh, confident and... Uh, you know, a person who really gaslights people. We have the Queen of Cups here. And I just feel someone in a very twisted Queen of Cups energy that, you know, uses like charm, um, emotional influence to kind of like string people along so that later they can take out their frustration on them by emotionally kind of abusing them and uh, with harsh words, with, uh, you know, very, and for some of you, this hit your heart chakra many times. Like this isn't a one-off thing. This is, this is a serious thing. And the queen of cups here can be any gender. This is just the energy I'm picking up on. This is someone that doesn't know how to have a healthy relationship. So, It's like the universe, karma, whatever, you know, uh, your return to sender is utilizing the karma of this person for some of you and is literally showing a mirror of self. You are an ass. You are a bitch. You are a horrible person. And you have done horrible, horrible things to people. And some people have no idea how horrible you are, but they're about to. Because the universe, guides, whatever, are about to just, boom, right in your face. And everyone around you. It feels like the loss of reputation in different areas. And not just a loss of reputation, but the loss of money. And for some of them, it feels like a loss of money in an oversight. I feel Virgo energy here. Like, I missed it somehow. Or it's taken in some detail or something. Um, Really hard time finding housing, okay? Um, Really hard time, like, making... And even I feel like this energy of when they do find a place, it won't feel like home. There's a lack of, like, warmth in the place. Um, And for some of you guys, that's a spirit. That's... The return to sender has come to call um, because I feel like a lot of you guys have been haunted by the damage that's been done here. And it's almost like that took on a form all, all its own, like a spirit all its own. And it's kind of come to haunt this person because this person has to see the truth of their behavior with you. And I want to tell you something. For many of you, they didn't just do it to you. And I feel like some of you guys kind of took the brunt of this, especially in families, because you thought, well, if I take it, they won't do it to other people. But behind closed doors, they did. They absolutely did. You know, you just didn't see it, a lot of you, or a few of you. I'm getting different numbers there, so just very chaotic energy. And, And, you know... That's what I'm feeling here is there's a lot of chaos around this person. And this person doesn't handle chaos well. Um, They don't handle, like, things falling apart around them well. Um, And they are. They will. 
And that's your energy. That's your return to sender. You know, I, I feel like uh, for a lot of you, uh, you may be, be you may, <laughs> fine, sorry. <laughs> My tongue got away from me, guys. You may be being pulled to doing a cord cutting with this person. If you are, you might look more into that, okay? It, that won't be for all of you, but if that's you, then it's yours, all right? Okay, group three, that's what I received for you. I hope this was a helpful and an insightful reading. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys.